with the Austrian and the two Derm Bloods, it's very competitive in those top three. But everyone else, this is, this, it kind of leaves the door open here being on more of a neutral track. I expect to see some Russians, some Latvians, and maybe some Italians vying for those top five spots. And here's a team that won't vie for that top five, but it's great to see them by far the youngest athletes to hit the scene on the World Cup in a number of years. From the Ukraine, Vadim Mikjevic and Bogdan Vapura. They are 15 and 16 years old, respectively. And they're off to a very rough start with this run so far. I mean, 15 and 16 or 16 and 17, either way, they 16, are yeah. incredibly young. Oh, and they're over, just like that. Unfortunate. It's great that they even qualified to be on a World Cup. It may be the only time we see them this year. And of course, there is no Junior World Cup tour on this pandemic season. So they get a shot there and they'll not. get a finish time. They will. I mean, I think this just goes to show how challenging the sport is and how much we say it all the time. It, it's kind of like a robotic answer right now where it's an experience based sport. And what we mean by that is that you're learning all the time and you just this is just the product of not a lot of time on the track yet, not a lot of time on the sled. And and it was it was a little bit of a mess from top to bottom. Well, all the same, a 15-year-old, that's the bottom man, Baburla, getting some World Cup action. That's incredible. And we will see them in run number two. They Definitely. Fin they finished six as part of the Ukrainian team relay event in the Youth Olympic Games last year at the Youth Olympic Games, which were in San Moritz, Switzerland. Now, our next team, also a pair of teenagers, Jakub and Maciejs Karas of Poland. And we were talking a bit. We have a little time to converse in the first few slides for sure, Emily. And uh, the introduction of women's luge will take place on the World Cup next year. And at least speaking as an American, what are the prognosis? Are, are there teams getting ready for that? Right, women's doubles. So it will be joining. We definitely, we have um, sleds in the pipeline. Oh, and a lot of issues going to go over. My goodness. The issue or the difference between doubles and singles, not only obviously there are two athletes, the sleds are different. They are now in the women's doubles field. They're going to be regulated by the FIL. So it's going to be a standardized sled, which is a challenge for doubles, especially because each team has such specific needs. You're fitting two bodies together on one sled and everyone's bodies are shaped differently. So we do have sleds that are working on training and working towards competing for next year. I think a lot of the larger countries do, and we'll see. We'll see what happens. Yeah, it'll be fun. A lot of a, unanswered questions. Adding a new discipline and being a little more gender equitable in the sport as well. Although, as people uh, may know, uh, until women's luge was introduced, it wasn't as if doubles luge was men only. It could have been any gender, any combination. It just never has been. Right. On national levels, we have, I mean, I competed in junior nationals with Kate Hansen more for, for fun, for 